Welcome to this Windows Server 2012 video looking at the improvements of fine-grained password policy management. Fine-grained password policies were introduced in Windows Server 2008 which allowed us to set different policy uh, policies for passwords for different groups of users inside Active Directory which for me is quite a compulsory feature because why should an enterprise administrator have the same password controls as a receptionist for example. This is now all administered via the new Active Directory Administrative Centre. So you can see here we've got the Active Directory Administrative Centre and I've gone to my domain. In order to use this function, the domain and the forest functional levels would need to be Windows Server 2008 as a minimum. Having gone into the system container, you see that we have the password settings container. And in here I can actually now apply the password settings. So this opens up a form which allows me to give the password settings a name so I'm going to set some password settings specifically for administrators. I can then set the precedence value so the precedence value means basically the lower number uh, is the most important the settings are so if I had two policy settings for uh, the same group of users then the one with the lowest precedence value would take effect. I can then specify all the rest of the normal standard uh, password policy settings so minimum password age number of passwords to remember and so on and then down the bottom is a single action I can now decide or add this to groups or to users so I could obviously pick any combinations of groups or users that I want so all in one action whereas this was two actions before inside Windows Server 2008 and 2008 R2 um, and the user interface wasn't particularly intuitive What's also quite important here is I can also see the uh, policy settings from the group or the user end. So in this case if I go and open up the domain admins, the group that I've just applied the policy settings to, you'll see we now have a new password settings and I can actually see the policy that's been set against that machine. So again obviously if there was multiple policies they would all be listed there and I could see the different precedence value that's been set against them. Obviously, because the policies are set against uh, a group, if I go into a user that's a member of that group, I can't actually see those settings. If I'd applied settings to a user, uh, those settings would actually override any settings that might be applied as part of being a member of the group. I hope this has been a useful quick demonstration of showing you the new UI elements for applying password settings or fine-grained password settings in Windows Server 2012. Thank you very much.